you're still watching One News Now, I'm Pauline Grzosa. Let's now take a quick look at today's other headlines. Residents may experience more power interruptions next week if power supply does not normalize soon. This comes after the disruptions caused by Typhoon Aghon and the high heat indices. The Philippine Star quoted Energy Undersecretary Rowena Guevara as saying that we may have red alerts next week. And in business world, they report that the Banco Central ng Pilipinas will keep monetary policy settings restrictive as upside risks to inflation remain. The Monetary Board stood pat for a fifth straight meeting in May, keeping its benchmark rate at a 17-year high of 6.5%. The BSP says it could begin policy easing as early as August. Philippine economic managers are focused on significantly reducing poverty by controlling inflation. A top business tycoon proposes that opportunities in the West Philippine Sea could be the solution. Here's the report. President Marcus's economic managers remain optimistic about the country's growth prospects as they target to lift 14 million Filipinos out of poverty by 2028 or by the time PBBM steps down from office. To do this, the government is banking on stable economic growth, which in the first quarter sat at 5.7%. When we successfully reduce the poverty rate to a single digit by 2028, history will mark the Marcos Jr. presidency as a turning point when the Philippines achieved genuine inclusive growth for Filipinos. The Philippine Statistics Authority estimates that 22.4% or over 25 million Filipinos are in the poverty line as of the first half of 2023. High prices of basic commodities remain a problem for them. That's why the government is also setting another target, this time for rice. Uh, with regard to the rice, we expect rice prices to go down by 20%, maybe by September. Uh, this would entail, uh, well, one, increasing production, and uh, second, reducing tariffs. So I think we have a game plan in place as far as that is concerned. Meanwhile, to help with the rising power costs, Ned said they would be focusing more on targeted subsidies. We need to take um, the welfare of those uh, vulnerable, the low-income groups, who are least able to afford uh, these price increases. And we have programs for those. Uh, so we give uh, targeted uh, subsidies. Meanwhile, for business tycoon Ramon A, the country should start looking at the West Philippine Sea to help curb inflation in the country. We don't have oil, but we have a very big reserve in West Philippine Sea. That's why they are very interested on the Philippines. So let us not let go of it. Ang went on to explain how having oil reserves bring commodity prices down in other ASEAN countries. In Malaysia, the prices of gasoline is 20 pesos per liter. In the Philippines, is 60. Reason, Malaysia subsidized one-third. The other one-third is taxes. Philippine government imposed taxes. And our neighboring countries don't impose taxes. That's why Ang said it is important for the country to protect its resources in the West Philippine Sea. Shaila Francisco, we are One News. It's a big day for all volleyball fans out there. Alas, Filipinas women will be facing Kazakhstan in the 2024 ABC Challenge Cup semifinals later today. Despite limited preparation, Alas, Filipinas surpassed expectations and is now an inch closer towards a sure podium finish. All they need to do is win against world's top 30 Kazakhstan. But like what Captain Gia de Guzman said, the semifinals is a different level and they will be needing a positive mindset. Alas Filipinas is expected to capitalize on their balanced scoring and steady serving. First serve will be at 7 p.m. You can watch the games live on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and the Filipinas Live app. And the official lineup of the Philippine men's volleyball team for the 2024 AVC Challenge Cup has been released. Mark Espejo was named team captain of the 14-man pool. Joining him are Josh Ibanez, Vince Lorenzo, Jay Desquitado, Kim Malabunga, JP Bugawon, Noel Campton, and Angelo Almendras. 
Completing the lineup are Joshua Umandal, Oa Retamar, Ruensmel Tagibolos, Leo Ordiales, Joseph Bello, and Lloyd Hosafat. Alas Pilipinas men will be heading to Bahrain to compete in the ABC Challenge Cup from June 2 to 9. They will first face China, followed by a match against host country Bahrain in Pool A. And those are the top stories of the hour. Join us later at 9 a.m. as we continue to monitor the day's biggest stories. I'm Pauline Verzosa. We are One News.